Hey you all, and welcome to another episode of Mike Plays Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, in this episode, we're gonna open up a shit ton of these booster boxes. Six of them to be specific, and they're all from six different sets. Uh, and I had originally filmed an unboxing of me uh, opening up this box that had all these packs in it. See, they're all open now. But uh, originally we had planned to show you guys us unopening these boxes, and it didn't work. So um, just stay tuned. And this is going to cut really quick into me ripping through packaging. To you all, the first thing we're going to be opening is this case of, uh, yeah, let me fix the camera ever so slightly. This case of Maximum Gold El Dorado. Pull up TCG player on your phone, Brandon, because I want you to tell me what the chase cards are. That way, if I pull one, I know what it is. case of maximum gold El Dorado. I think there's only like three packs in each of these boxes so this should go pretty quick. Yeah. Poop. I don't suppose you have a smaller knife. Can you turn that heat off? Not as fun. Excuse me for the delays, y'all. Just, uh, taking my time getting the plastic off, I guess. So then, then uh, from do a market. World. Yeah, that's what I would do. So the first one is Access Code Talker, which is currently 45 bucks. And then Caught Up Extravagance and Chamber Dragon Maid. IP Mascarena. Here. Start opening one of these. It's going to take me forever to get all five of these open. This is a huge box for only having three packs inside of it. I mean, I understand they're monster packs, but... Didn't necessarily need a monster box. Yeah. Oh no, there's four packs in each box. And there's seven cards per pack. Open. 
All right, you all, so this is almost it for Maximum Gold El Dorado. We're about to jump into this. And then I think I'm gonna move these over ever so slightly. Okay. So this should be random enough. I've got, I should have 20 packs of Maximum Gold Eldorado here. So. I don't know if there is a trick to opening these. So far I haven't seen any chase cards. Okay. I'm probably going to have to go back over these with the TCG player app and scan them to see which ones are worth money or not. Or if any of them are worth money. I mean, I've seen somebody open a case of... Uh, Gold El Dorado, and they got the top five cards from that case, but that doesn't mean that we are. Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. Now he. Raigeki. Okay, Code Talker Inverted Numeron Network. So these three kind of look like good cards. I want to look those up real quick. This app is cool. It literally lets you scan the card and then it tells you how much money they're worth. Oh, I did not have that feature. It works better if it's on a white background. Like this envelope. <clears throat> Red Eyes Darkness Dragon. Um, I don't see, he didn't come up in the right set. Red Eyes Darkness Dragon. Dollar thirty seven, okay. Red eyes darkness metal dragon. Okay. Now let's look up Raigiki. And that one's also worth a dollar. How about Code Talker Inverted? Fifteen cents. Okay, so he's definitely not anything to write home about. All right, we have Golden Land Forever, Primatech, Albert, Alan Burchin, number two, Numeron Gate Die, Baby Cesarus, El Elixir of Black Awakening, Giant Rex, and Shooting Code Talker. Let's look up what that El Elixir of Black Awakening is worth. $1.28. So we'll put him in the dollar pile.
Number C1, Numeron KSK Senya, is that one we're looking for? Mystic Mine, Scrap Golem, Asa the Earth Charter, and Pot of Extravagance. All right, we got a Pot of Extravagance. Oh, that's a $13 one. Yep. Sweet. How about number C1, Numeron Chaos Gate, Sonia? Um, Is he on the first page? I, don't, I haven't seen him. Okay, then if he's not on the first page, then he's not worth a lot. Yeah. But we did get a uh, pot of extravagance, so that's good. Let's see what Mystic Mine is worth. Three dollars. Okay. So there we go. We're racking up the dollars now. I kind of want a Blue Eyes or a Dark Magician. Guardian of the Golden Land, Psy, Frame Lord, Omega, Ultimate Conductor, Tyranno, Scrap Golem, Torrential Tribute, Prank Kids Weather Washer, Prank Kids Rooksies. Torrential Tribute looks dope. Five ninety nine. If it's a uh, not, it's that's not the right set. Torrential tribute from Maximum Gold El Dorado is worth two twenty six. Okay, so we're starting to stack up the cash, y'all. Number four, Numeron Gate, Katavari, Danger, Nessie, Prank Kids, Bow Wow, Bark, Urgent Schedule, Sky Striker, Ace, Rose, Shooting, Code Talker, and Cynet Mining. I should probably pull up the uh, good cards on my screen as well. Sorry for the delay guys, just give me one second here while I set up my computer real quick. Okay, so Maxim Gold El Dorado. We want anything over a dollar. Okay. Rescue Cat is worth four bucks. I think I might have pulled one of those. That's ridiculous. Oh, the alternate art one is more expensive than the... Only by a dollar. Mm -hmm. Ultimate Sulkin, the Weather Thundery Canvas, Scrap Dragon, Fire Formation Ten Key, Number IC1000, Numeronius Numeronia, Altergeist Marionette, and Striker Dragon. Alter Guys Concurry, Constellar Ptolemy M7, The Weather Painter Rainbow, that's a beautiful card. Scrap Golem, Destiny Hero Plasma, The Weather Rainbowed Canvas, that's another beautiful card. Prank Kids Battle Butler.
Oh, it's only a 17 cent card, but I love it. Okay, this card does not want to scan for whatever reason. And it's definitely not Galaxy Eye Cypher Dragon. The Weather Painter Aurora Rainbow. It's a 29 cent card, but I love it. I'm going to sleeve it. The Weather Cloudy Canvas, Altergeist Multi Faker, another The Weather Print Rainbow, Asa the Earth Charmer, The Weather Snowy Canvas, Dark Magician! Nice! We got a Dark Magician. How much is he worth? Right there. 342, okay. I might keep him. So we pulled the Dark Magician, now if only we could pull the Blue Eyes White Dragon and the Red Eyes Black Dragon. <clears throat> Number 3, Numeron Gate Trini, Golden Sarcophagus, Prank Kids Lampsies, The Phantom Knight of Breaksword, Ghost Mourner and Moonlight Chill, The Weather Paint Terrain, Number 41, Baguska, The Terribly Tired Trapier. The Weather Painter Thunder, Lost World, Fossil Dina, Pecha Falo, Zerfaxi, The Treasure of Yang Ying, The Weather Snowy Canvas, Nightmare Unicorn, Number 11, Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon, Super Dora. Ultimate Zulkin, Rainbow Neos, Mystic Mine, Prank Kids Rocket Ride, Eld Elixir of Black Awakening, Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Bane, and Numeron Wall. Number four, Numeron Gate, Katavari, Psy, Frame Lord, Omega, Starlight Road, Oz of the Earth Charmer, Red Eyes, Black Dragon, Wind, the Wind Charmer, and Psynet Mining. So now all we need is the Blue Eyes, White Dragon to complete this uh, set of the three classic cards. Okay, we got White Dragon, Wyver Burster, X Code Talker. Access Code Talkers. No, X Code Talker is what I got. I wonder if he's worth anything. Ultimate oh, Conductor, yeah. Tyranno, Cyber's Gadget, Super Dreadnought, Rail Cannon, Juggernaut, Lieb, Conquistador of the Golden Land, and Dragoonity Knight, Romulus. No, this one's only worth 23 cents. Yeah. Mystic Mine is worth a few bucks, and I had a couple of those. Golden Land Forever, Ultra Geist Concurry, Fossil, Dina, Paichafalo, Deep Sea Diva, Code Talker, Danger Bigfoot Alternate Art, and Shooting Code Talker. So we got three more packs. Are we going to get the Blue Eyes White Dragon or the Access Code Talker? 
Number C, Numeron Gate Trini, Oracle of Zira. Number two, Numeron Gate Diva, Fire Formation, Evolar Dolka, Prank Kids Fancies, and Hakero of the Golden Land. So we got two more packs left. The Phantom Knights of Ancient Cloak, Battle Shogun of Six Samurai, Gold Sarcophagus, Urgent Schedule Number 9, Dyson Sphere, Twin Twisters, Numeron Wall. Glass Pack Magic. The Weather Cloudy Canvas. Eld Elixir of Scarlet Sanguine, Altergeist Meluius, Star Striker Ace Rose, Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon again, Dragoonity Knight Romulus, and the Phantom Knights of Sol Silent Boots. Okay, so that's what we got from uh, from uh, Gold Maximum Gold El Dorado. Now let's open some Brothers of Legends up. Yeah, there's some money in Brothers of Legend, but it's a, uh, the cards are so fucking rare. They used to be worth like $600, $800 a card, and now they're not worth as much, but they, they're so fucking rare, it's almost impossible to find one. Even if you open 12 of these boxes, you might not get one. Oh. Alright, you guys, so here's some Brothers of Legends for y'all. We got Dollhouse. FAI, Iding Spirit, Soul Binding Gate, Kariba, and Relinquished Anima. Relinquished Anima is worth a dollar. So we'll put him in the cell pile. Okay, we got Insector, Exabeetle, Safer Interference, Ice Barrier, Zexal Field, and Rebirth Judgment. Number 39, Utopia, Wind Up, Arsenal, Zen, Maya, Rank Up, Magic, Argent, Chaos, Force, Kadarla, The Mystery, Dusk, Kaiju. We can put him in the uh, dollar pile. And Starving, Venomy, Dragon. Thought Ruler Archfiend, Hidden Fangs of Revenge, Number 39, Utopia, Wind Up Arsenal Zen Moya, and Speed Droid Scratch. Force of the Floral Knights, Karibo, The Deal of Destiny, Void Feast, and Piri Rice Map. 
I think pure erase map is worth at least a dollar, so we'll put them in the dollar pile. Rank up Magic, Argent, Chaos Force, Kadarla, the Mystery Dush, Kaiju is worth a dollar. Horse of the Floral Knights, Karibo, and Centaur Mina. We got a Detonate, Right Hand Shark. The Phantom Knights of Rag Cloves, Fighting Spirit, number four, Stealth Kragen. The Deal of Destiny, Void Feast, Detonate, Right Hand Shark, Ultimate Leo, Utopia Ray. See, these are short card packs. These have uh, five cards per pack. Downard Magician. That's one of my favorite cards from this set. Dr. D, Soulbinding Gate, The Icebound God, Altergeist Pukuri. How much is Altergeist Pukuri worth? A dollar. Okay. The Phantom Knights of Ragged Gloves, Fighting Spirit, Another Downard Magician, Dr. D, and Grandpa Demetto. Dollhouse, Appliance Propeller, Karibibalan, Shooting Star Dragon. Let's look up and performable Karibable. Okay, I feel like these two might be worth a couple bucks. Although I don't see Shooting Star Dragon on the first page of the rare, so he can't be that rare. This is a secret rare. Okay. Eh, 42 cents, but it's still a cool card. Soul Binding Gate, The Icebound God, Dollhouse, Appliance or Propeller, Altergeist Fiji Alert. Altergeist Fijiler. I don't think he's even on the first page. Yeah, he's not. He is not. Allure of Darkness. Eidos, the Underworld Squire. Zexel Catapult, Ice Knight, and Magician Souls. That's a $38 card. <laughs> I already sold one of these before, but Magician Souls is such a beautiful card. Do you want to come see it? That's uh, the Dark Magician Girl, it looks like. Huh. That's so there's Magician Souls. It's a $40 card right now. We're going to instantly sleeve this. And put it in a top loader. Okay, sweet. <coughs> so we got a few more packs of Brothers of Legend. Um, 
Honestly, Magician Souls almost paid for the box. So if we get anything else from here, it's a uh, profit. Kariba Babalon, Shooting Star Dragon, Allure of Darkness, Eidos, The Underworld, Squirrel, Squire, and Zeos, ZS Utopic Sage. Karibi, ZW, Selfid Wing, The Phantom Knights of Ragged Clothes, Wind Up Arsenal, Zen Moa, and Toy Parade. Oops. Put the uh, cards in the wrong pile for a second. Okay, we got Zexel, Catapult, Ice Knight, Karibi, ZW, Sylphid Wing, Noble Knight's Shield Barrier. Horse of the Floral Knights, The Deal of Destiny, Allure of Darkness, Right Hand Shark, and Dragonroid. Dragonroid should be worth some money because he's literally the character that's on the box, but I don't think he's worth anything. 27 cents. Yeah, he's not worth anything, but he's the character that's on the box, so... The Phantom Knights of Rag Clothes, Wind Up Arsenal Zen Moa, Horse of the Floral Knights, The Deal of Destiny, Lily, Lily, Lir, Lirilisk Bird Strike is worth some money if I remember correctly. Lirilisk Bird Strike should be worth a few bucks. Or maybe it was from a different set. Lyrilus Bird Strike. Maybe I'm thinking of yeah, I'm thinking of Lyrilus Bird Call from uh, the Synchro Storm set. All right, we got another Shooting Star Dragon, Void Feast, Karibo, Dr. D, and number four, Stealth Kragen. So far, number, no number 17, no Forbidden Droplet, no Red Eyes Dark Dragon. Allure of Darkness, Right Hand Shark, Suiting Star Dragon, Void Feast, Number 89, Diablosis, The Mine Hacker, is worth at least a dollar. So we'll put him in the dollar pile. Detonate. Eidos, The Underworld Squire, Hidden Fangs of Revenge, Rank Up, Magic, Argent Chaos, Cypher, Biplane. Looks like a beautiful card, but I'm sure it's worth nothing. Okay, we got another Karibo, Dr. D, Destiny, Eidos, and Starving Venomy Dragon. Now we're on our last two packs. Before we take a break. Oh, another Godarlo. That's worth a dollar. Caribe, Ice Knight, Appliance or Propellion, Piri Reese Map is worth a dollar.
Last pack magic, y'all. What are we gonna get from the last pack of Brothers of Legend? Hidden Fangs of Revenge, Rank Up Magic, Art and Chaos, Godarla, the Mystery Dust Kaiju, Stealth Kragen Spawn. Is that worth anything? Allure of Darkness was worth a dollar eighty this whole time, and I've been putting them in the bulk pile. Wow, I need to go back and get those out. All right, I need to go and find my Allure of Darknesses, and then we can uh, take a short break. There's one. There's two. There's three. Alright, so that was it. Now let's take a short break from opening cards. Also, the second box that we're going to be opening is Burst of Destiny. If I can find a good place to uh, crack the seal open. So there's 24 packs in here, and each pack has nine cards. that over there for our bulk. Now what are we looking for? We're looking for Incredible Ecclesia, the Virtuous, Elemental Hero Stratos, Evil Twins, Triple, Trouble Sunny, Sword and Souls, Grandmaster Shishao, Destiny Hero, Flo Andres and Snowball, Incredible Ecclesia, the Virtuous, and a Secret Rare or Starlight Rare. Okay. And Flo Andries. So we got Gunkin, Shunship, Uni, Apex Predator, Reptilian, Kotal, Rebuilder, Sword Soul, Auspice, Chunjin, Ice Jade, Acti, Reptilian, Recoil, Gunkin, Shuship, Shirao, B Trooper Squad. So I'm guessing the fifth card from the back is our rare card. And. I'm guessing Sword Soul uh, Auspice Chunjin isn't really worth anything. So from now on, we'll take four cards from the back and move them to the front. One, two, three, four. So four to the front. We got Brave Drive, Flo Andries and Stree, Starry Knight, Orbital, Penguin Ninja, Abyss Keeper, DD Assault Carrier, Ice Jade, Tenola, Giant Starfall, and Machina Ruin Force for our rare card. Let's put all the rare cards on the right side of the box.
Okay, so one, two, three, four to the front. We got Night Sword Serpent, Danger Disturbance Disorder, Transonic Bird, Fengli the Sold, Sold Rapam, Heritage of Light, Magic E Battle, Abyss Keeper, Penguin Squire, Ultimate Flagship, Ursatron is not on my list. So, not as rare, but we'll put him in the rare pile. One, two, three, four. We got Undaunted Bumpkin Beast, Night Sword Serpent, B Trooper Landing, Magnificent Magic E Maptel, Sonic Tracker, Outstanding Dog Mary, Ice Jade Tanola, Break the Destiny, and Flo Andries and Eaglin. We're not looking for that one though. We're looking for Flo Andries and Empen. Or Flo Andries and the Magnificent Map. Or Flo Andries and Snowell, not Flo Andries and Eaglin. So we'll put that in the rare pile, but not the super rare pile. <clears throat> okay, so four to the front. We got B Trooper Landing, Penguin Ninja, Magnificent Magic E Maftal, Magic E Locking, Rebuilder, Reptilian Codal, Gunkin Gunship Uni, Night Flight, and Supernatural Danger Zone. B Trooper Squad, Cupid Pitch, Royal Penguins Garden, Reptilian Recoil, Mimicking Man Eater Bug, Flo Andries and Tokan, Heritage of the Light, Flip Frozen, Heavy B Trooper, Mighty Neptune. to the front and we got Fengli the Sold Rapam, Ice Jade Acti, Ep Reptilian Recoil, Gunkin Suship, Shirao, Gemini's Lord Gold Knight, Rebuild Deer, Reptilian Kotal, Gunkin Suship Su Su Uni, and Reptilian Ramifications. We got another Royal Penguins Garden, Cupid Pitch, Sword Soul Blackout, Danger Disturbance Disorder, Heritage of the Light, Magic E Battle, Abyss Keeper, Penguin Squire, and Stained Glass of Light and Dark, which looks really cool actually. Yeah, that looks dope. Put that in the rear pile. <sighs> Reptilian Nyami, Laundry Trap, B Trooper Assault Roller, Detonation Code, Magical Cylinder, Cyanet Crosswipe. Sword Soul Assessment, Signet Sy Cascade, Magic E Fiend, Transflermine. Not the Sword Soul, Sand, Sword, Sword Master, Shishao, I thought it was going to be, but. It's 
So we got Bee Trooper Squad, Undaunted Bumpkin Beast, Night Sword Serpent, Bee Trooper Landing, Night Flight, Magical Cylinder, Cyanite Cross Wipe, Sword Soul Assessment, and Sword Soul Sacred Summon. Yeah. We got Reptilian Yami, B Trooper Landing, Penguin Ninja, Magnificent Magic E Maptel, Cyanite Cross Wipe, Cyanite Cascade, Magic E Battle, Sonic Tracker, and Branded in High Spirits. Now remember, there's just there's a good chance you'll get a Starlight Rare in six booster boxes, but you're not even guaranteed one. So, I sh oh did I do the four to the no I didn't do four to the front. So we have Ursarctic Drayton, Threshold Borg, Sword Soul Blackout, Transonic Bird, Ice Jade Tanola, Gemini's Lord Gold Knight, DD Assault Carrier, Mimicking Man, Lord of Heavenly Prison is a $30 card. So let's put him in a uh, sleeve. He kind of just paid for half the box. So I like Lord of the Heavenly Prison right now. <laughs> I'll let you guys take a look at him real quick before he gets put in a sleeve. Yeah. I like Magician Souls and Lord of the Heavenly Prison because they're two $30, $40 cards. So we've got some real hits today, y'all. No Starlight Rares yet, but we've got some hits. Magic E Locking, Reptilian Yami, Laundry Trap, B Trooper, Assault Roller, Night Flight, Apex Predation, Penguin Cleric, Outstanding, Dog Mary, and Flo Andries and Rabina, which I don't believe is on our list. Andries and Stree, B Trooper Assault Roller, Gunkin, Sue Ship, She Rao, Transonic Bird, Mimicking Man Eater Bug, Flo Andries and Tokan, Heritage of the Light, Flip Frozen, and Bayonet Punisher. No. I might have got that sold Sword Soul Emergence card that's 10 bucks and not realized it. So let me look through these cards real quick. No, I got Sword Soul Sacred Summit. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so we have a few more packs to open of uh, Birth of Destiny for you guys. Ursarctic, Drayton, Brave Drive, Fengli, the Solder Palm, Night Sword Serpent, Giant Starfall, Gungan, Sun Tzu Ship, Shirao Class Carrier, Break the Destiny, Heritage of the Light, and Gungan Tzu Ship, Uni Class, Super Dreadnought. It's like a giant ship made out of sushi. That's cool. And I'm pretty sure it's worthless as well. <clears throat> okay.
I might have just peeked at the card on accident. Magnificent Magic E, Math Teal, Royal Penguins Garden, Cupid Pitch, Sword Soul, Blackout, Cyanet Cascade, Ice Jade Tenola, Gemini's Lord, Gull Knight, DD Assault Carrier, and Sword Soul, Supreme Sovereign, Cheng Ying. Again, I thought it was going to be Sword Soul, Grandmaster, Shi Shao. I didn't think it was going to be the Starlight Rare because I didn't see a, a shiny border, but I thought it was going to be Sword Soul, Grandmaster, Shi Shao. I don't think he's worth anything. Sword Soul Soul Master Shisha would have been at least worth 10 bucks. 200 bucks in a Starlight Rare. Cyanet, oh, let me move the four to the front. Undaunted Bumpkin Beast, Detonation Code, Penguin Ninja, Laundry Trap, Cyanet Crosswipe, Cyanet Cascade, Magic E Battle, Sonic Tracker, and Magic E Fiend Transflarmine. All right, you all, Laundry Trap, Ice Jade Acti, Magic E Locking, Threshold Borg, Gunkin so Shoe Ship Uni, Apex Predation, Reptilian Codal Rebuilder, and B Trooper Descent. Also not on our list. Danger, Disturbance, Disorder, Floandries and Stree, B Trooper, Assault Roller, Gunkin Suship, Shi Rao, Mimicking Man Eater Bug, Penguin Cleric, Cyanet Crosswipe, Giant Starfall, and Heavy Interlock. We have Ice Shade Acti, Ag Magic E Locking, Threshold Borg, Starry Night, Orb Beetle, Night Flight, Apex Predation, Penguin Cleric, Outstanding Dog Marie, Incredibly Inclasia the Virtuous. That's on our list. Is this the secret rare? <coughs> this must be the secret rare. This is worth 50 bucks, 55 bucks. Oh my gosh. So this box more than paid for itself. Yeah, this is the secret rare. This is worth 55 bucks. Yu-Gi-Oh has been good to me, man. Better to me than Pokemon has been. Okay, we got a Transonic Bird, Undaunted Bumpkin Beast, Detonation Code, Penguin Ninja, Sword Soul Assessment, Penguin Squire, Gunkin Ship. And Reptilian Melusine, which is not on our list. But she is a pretty cool card nonetheless. <sighs> so we got Danger Disturbance Disorder. Transonic Bird, Fengly the Soldier Pond, Bee Trooper Squad, Foot Frozen, Sonic Tracker, Floandries and Tokan, Abyss Keeper, and Floandries and the Dreaming Town. Not quite the Floandries that we wanted, but it's a Floandries nonetheless. 
right, you guys, two more uh, booster packs, and then we're going to take a small break from opening these yellow cards. Starry Knight, Orbital, Ursatronic, Drayton, Brave Drive, Fengli, The Soldier Pond, Sonic Tracker, Outstanding Dog, Marie, Ice Jade, Tanola, Break the Destiny, and Sun Vine Sewing. It's not on my list. Okay, last pack magic, y'all. We have Cupid Pitch, Royal Penguin's Garden, Reptilian Recoil, Reptilian Yami, DD Assault Carrier, Ice Jade Tanola, Giant Starfall, Gemini's Lord Golf Knight. And Flo Andries in the Scary Sea. All right. So let's add these to our dollar pile because I'm sure I can get at least a dollar out of these. And then let's put these cards up. Or the bulk. Let's put the bulk up. If you guys ever... Uh, well, if you're here because you bought something from me on eBay or Mike'sTCG.com, I just want you to know that we take very good care of your cards. Before your bulk gets sent out, it doesn't just get sent out in a box like this. It gets put in team bags uh, so that the cards don't slide around and get scratched and all that. So rest assured, if you, uh, if you do buy from Mike'sTCGs.com or from my eBay or wherever, that your cards will be coming in safe condition. You know what? That was such a good one. Let's just open up another one real quick. Let's do Legendary Doula Synchro Storm. This one has 36 packs. Lily Ersk Bird Call. That's what I was thinking that I got. So there's 36 packs in this box. Each pack has five cards. It says there's one rare card in every pack. So I just got to do the card trick to find out which uh, card is the rare card. Because I don't know. I've never opened the... Well, I have opened these packs on this channel before, but I didn't... I can't remember what the uh, order is of the rare cards. So let's just start from the beginning. We got Zone, Speed Droid, Car Turbo, Quillpel of Goldo, Synchron, Explorer, and Lily Ersk Assembled Nightingale. Okay. That's not on our list, but it's close. So the last card in the pack is the rare card. That should make it easy. That means there's no card trick. We just get to open them straight from front to back. We got Rush Warrior, Speed Recovery, Liberty at Last, Lily Ersk Bird Call. That was the card that I thought that I got before. And it is worth 15 bucks. So we're going to put that in, in a sleeve. And then we got Floor Synchron. Floor Synchron, which is nowhere near the top of the list. So he's worthless. But we did get a $15 card out of a $40 box, so that's promising. Can you 
You grab me some water too, sir. Thank you. And we're only, we're only a couple packs in, so we still got this whole box left to go. We've almost broke even. Lily Earth, Sapphire Swallow, Speed Lift, Speed Droid, Take Bomber, Lily Earth, Promenade Thrush. It's worth a dollar. And Chevalier de Fleur. We're looking for Baron de Fleur. Yeah, Chevalier de Fleur is not a rare card. Or it's not rare enough to be worth money. Necrofloor, Zone, High Speed Droid Chanbara, Unknown Synchron, and Lily Ersk Phantom Feathers. Lily Ersk Phantom Feathers is not on our list. But it will go with the rare cards nonetheless. Lily Ersk's Recital Starling. Quill Bolt Hedgehog, Speed Droid Horse Tilt, Noble Knight Joan, and Totem Bird. No uh, front page polls right there, except for Lily Ersk Recital Starling, which is going for seven cents. Yeah, so he'll, he'll go into bulk. This is a really small set. There's only 59 cards in this set. And this box has, what, 36 times five, uh, 130, no, 18, 180. 36 times five? Yeah. We got a Stardust Warrior, Speed Droid Marble Machine, Speed Droid Taka Tim Borg, Speed Droid Double Yo-Yo, and a Synchro Dilemma. Synchro Dilemma. 36 times 5, my man. Right. Yeah, yeah, so there's 180 cards in this box, and there's only 59 cards in the whole set. So there's a good chance we could maybe get them all. Noble Knight Joan, Quill Bolt Hedgehog, Speed Droid Card Turbo, Quill Pet of Gold Dose, and Speed Droid Duplicate. Speed Lift, Speed Droid, Takatema Braun, Lily Ersk Recital Starling, Quill Bolt Hedgehog, and Lily Ersk Barrel Canary. Lily Ersk Barrel Canary, 36 cents. Sorry, y'all, I needed a drink. We still got plenty of packs left to uh, finish this set and or pull the ultra rare or the ghost rare. Speed Droid, Takatim Borg, Tornado Dragon, Quill Bolt Hedgehog, Lilier, Turquoise Warbler, and another Barrel Canary. Lilier Sapphire Swallow, Speed Droid Red Eyed Dice, Stardust Warrior, Speed Droid Fuki Modoshi Piper, and High Speed Droid Kited, Kited Drake. There's two rare cards in one pack. So I thought maybe it was going to be a, a Ultra Rare or a Ghost Rare because there was two rares in that pack. High Speed Droid Chanbara, Speed Droid Terror Top, Speed Droid Den Den Daiko Duke, 
sorcerer de fleur, sorcerer de fleur, and synchro dilemma. Speed Droid Horse Stilts, Noble Knight Joan, High Speed Droid Chanbera, Speed Droid Terror Top, and Lily Ersk Phantom Feathers. Speed Droid Den Den Daiko Duke, Speed Droid Car Turbo, Stardust Warrior, Speed Droid Wheel. And Liliersk assembled Nightingale. I'll put those with the rare cards. Lilier Sapphire Swallow, Speed Droid Red Eyed Dice, Stardust Warrior, Speed Lift. And a Lily Ersk assembled Nightingale. Synchron Explorer, Sorcier de Fleur, Mariam the True Drac of Phoenix, Lily Ersk Bird Sanctuary. And Synchro Dilemma. That Lillier's Bird Sanctuary was a $1 card at one point in history. Speed Lift, Necro Floor, Synchron Explorer, Sage de Floor. Sage the Floor is a one dollar card. Liliersk Assembled Nightingale is not. Speed Droid Den Den Daiko Duke, Sorcier de Floor, Liliersk Turquoise Warrior. Speed Droid Double Yo-Yo and Pennant of Revolution. Rush Warrior, Lily Earth, Cobalt Sparrow, Speed Droid Terror Top, Mary Ann, the True Drac of Phoenix, and Speed Droid Duplicate. And a Lily Earth Barrel Canary. I'm going to try to speed this up a little bit for you guys. Because we still have a lot of packs to go through. Chevalier de Fleur is not on my list. If you're still watching over an hour into this video, thank you so much for watching. I hope I get to pull a Starlight Rare for you guys. Floor Synchron. I can't remember. I don't think he's worth anything. I'm 
another floor synchron. <clears throat> Totem bird. Lilier Celestine Wagtail. This is a $6 card, so that is a good one to have. Especially out of a $40 box. Chevalier de Fleur again. Thank you, Konami, for being based and sending us based boxes that have uh, Lilier's Phantom Feathers, that have uh, Starlight Rares in them. Synchro Dilemma. Clear Wing Synchro Dragon. Is this the Ghost Rare? Is this the $54 Ghost Rare? I don't think so. Holy shit. No, it's not from Cross Souls. There's only one on there, so I'm guessing he's the fucking $54 ghost rare. Nice, he just paid for the whole box. Literally just paid for the whole box, and then the other one I got is like bonus money. Remember the last video we, we did? It was like, I gambled $420 and I won. I don't fucking know how yeah. much I won. Yeah. We're about to find out. I might actually have won some money today. Because these are some good cards. All right, you guys. We got a few more packs left of uh, Legendary Duelists. Wow. I can't believe we pulled the ghost rare. Oh, there's two different kinds. You know how you can tell? No, no, this is Clear Wing Synchro Dragon, not Crystal Clear Wing Synchro Dragon. Oh, I was... Clear Wing Synchro Dragon is worth 56 cents. Fuck! I thought we got a $50 card. Dang. Dang. Uh, well, there's still a chance to pull a Ghost Rare or an Ultra Rare. Totem bird. High speed droid kited drake.
Phantom Feathers. We got two more packs for y'all. Floor Synchron and High Speed Droid Cork Shooter is worth six fifty. And nothing. All right, so that's it for Legendary Duelist Synchro Storm. Now let's open up some Dawn of Majesty. This one says right on the box, Star Power. Star Power. So hopefully this is the one we get the Starlight Rare out of. Even though this is an older set, you can still get the Stardust Dragon, which is worth $627.89. Or the Shooting Majestic Dragon, which is $176.99. So, this is a pretty good box to open. It's a little more expensive, though. Or no, it's not. It was only $55. Bucks. Brothers of Legend is an expensive box. Dawn of Majesty actually seems to be a well-priced box, considering there's some good cards in here. Some expensive good cards. So there's 24 packs, 9 cards per pack. Now let's get started. I'm going to try to figure out the code trick. Magic -y Beast and Siabialos. So I'm guessing you take four and put them to the front and then the rare is going to be at the back. So Magic -y Beast is not one we're looking for. Again, we don't really have time to go over every single card, but Despian Comedy. Despian Comedy, not one we're looking for. Arrive in Light. That's a cool looking card. And he's worth two bucks. So. He's on our page. Of cards to look for. He basically paid for that pack. Okay. Guzmik Naganaki, the Sunrise Signaler. Okay, our rare card is Albion, the Shadow. Shad Shrouded Dragon. It's not on our list. <clears throat> A 
Okay, so our rare card is another Albie in the Shadow Trouted Dragon. Our rare card is High Ritual Art. Which is not on our list. And our rare card is Magicy Mech Musket Bata Buster. Not on our list. She's so cute though. And our rare card is Branded Opening. $2.81 card. So they paid for the pack that they were in. <laughs> and our rare card is Pendulum Treasure. Pendulum Treasure. And the rare card is Magicy Dragon and Trabeam. Magicy Dragon and Drambame. And Drambame. Andra Beam Andrambame However you pronounce it In our rare card is Trickstar Festival <coughs> Which is not on our list Now this set has slightly more cards than the last set This set has 108 cards if I remember correctly, the last set had like 50 something. Okay. So our rare card is Amazement Assistant Delia. She's cute. Put her in there. And our amazing, our rare is B Trooper Armor Horn. B Trooper Armor Horn. And our rare card is Knight's End Administrator. It's a cool looking card. I don't see him on the list though. I don't think I've gotten enough secret rares out of this box. So these last cards should be rare. Oh. What did we get? Did we get a... Grand Sulfacord Musicia. <clears throat> and a Majestic Mirage. Majestic Mirage.
Di gusto la plemlica. Brandon, this may be the worst booster box I've ever opened. I'm sorry. The first ones were pretty good. Yeah. This one's kind of a bust. Yeah, this one's kind of a bust. Shooting Majestic Star Dragon. Four dollars and sixteen cents because the borders aren't shiny. But it, that there goes my secret rare that I was complaining about. <laughs> wow, looks nice. It's five dollar card. It should look nice. Yeah, <laughs> true. Okay, secret rare shooting majestic star dragon. Now hopefully we'll get his brother the uh, starlight rare. And Magic E. Mech Mortar Care Glasser. Volfernagus, the Darkest Dragon Doom Rider, is our rare card from that pack. <clears throat> Gizmek Taniguku, the Immobile Intellect, is our rare card from that pack. We have two packs left. And B Trooper Scale Bomber. Last pack. Hope for some last pack magic. And the last card is Magic E Beast and Sialabolos. However you pronounce that. Alright, so let's move these rare cards over to our dollar pile. And let's finally open our last booster box. All right, so the last booster box is gonna be Ancient Guardians. Let me pull up Ancient Guardians real quick. So it was a $45 box, and we're looking for Dino Wrestler, Panker Top, Skullmeister, or Trade In. Actually, there's a whole lot of collector rares, like Dolph Sulfacord Coolia. We sold one of those already. Uh, there's a lot of collector rares from this specific set that we're looking for. Any of the collector rares would be cool. But specifically, I'd like a trade in Skullmeister or Dino Wrestler Prank Tops. So, this is a 24 pack box with seven cards per pack. Now that I've got space to the left of me, I'm going to change it up and put the box over there. Okay. 
All the cards here are shiny. See, there's that trade-in card, but it's not the collector's rare. It doesn't have a shiny border, so it's worthless. <clears throat> Gersartic Nicholas. Okay. So I don't know if there is a trick to this set. Dino Wrestler Pancratops. There's the fucking card I said I wanted, but it's not the collector's rare. Maje Majester Paladin. Rise of the Snake Deity. Ice Knight Reload. Ignister Prominence. Ven uh, Minga and Ogoetic Water Lily. I have to go back to this box carefully and try to get the uh, rare cards out because I can't tell which ones are rare and which ones aren't. Dynaster Power, the Mighty Dracoslayer, Light Serpent, Ignite Reload, Offering to the Snake Deity, Sulfa Chord, Musica, Zoha, and La Sulfa Chord, Angelica. <coughs> La Sulfa Chord Angelica. Ogdoetic Hollow. Dynaster Power, the Mighty Dracoslayer. Lunaster Pendulum, the Dracoslayer. Ursarctic Mega Poller. I don't see him on the list. Ursarctic Megabullis, Viper's Rebirth, and Ursarctic Mikbliss. Snake Rain. Ignister Prominence, Sulfa Chord Formal, Ugdoaitic Calling, Wavering Eyes, Me Sulfa Chord Elitia, <clears throat> Ursarctic Polari. This isn't the character, this isn't the collector's rare though, so I don't think it's worth 36 bucks. Oh, he's worth six bucks though. And then me sulfur cord elitia. Seems like it should be worth something, but I don't see it anywhere. Skullmeister, Rise of the Snake Deity, Light Serpent, Dino Wrestler, Prankatops, again, not in a character rare, or collector's rare. Ursarctic Polar and Dynaster Power. Trade in again. Oh shit, nigga! We got the hundred and sixty dollar Dyna Wrestler Prankatrops care collectors rare. There's that beautiful card for y'all. It's hundred and sixty dollar card.
Hell, we pulled all the shit today. We got, what did we get? Did we get a blue eyes white dragon? And then we got a dark magician. Yeah, yeah, and a black eyes white black, dragon. Uh, red eyes black dragon. Yeah. Okay. So he just paid for like three boxes. That card just paid for half the boxes in this video. King of the Feral Imps, Evil Dragon, Ananta, Vipers Rebirth, Venomous, the King of Poison Snakes, Ursarctic, Megatanus, Dynaster Power, and Dulcophacord Cutia. Damage equals Reptile, Wavering Eyes, Ursarctic, Megapolar, Offering to the Snake Deity, Ignister, Prominence, Ursarctic, Megabilis, Sulfacord, Elegance. Ogdoatic Origin, Wavering Eyes, Damage equals Reptile, Skullmeister, Alert, Alert, the Ogdoatic Dark. Okay. Can you even get two Collector Rares in one box of Ancient Guardians? Or should I just give up here and sell the rest of these packs? Self Accord Scale. They're not very expensive packs, I bet. I bet these are only like $2.50 a pack, so I wouldn't really get a whole lot of money selling the packs, but... There's that trade-in again. Me Sulfacord Lydia again. Not the trade-in that I wanted, though. I want the Collector's Rare trade-in. Light Serpent, Ice Knight Reload, Offering to the Snake Deity. Sulfacord Gracia. Not a character rare. Sulfacord Gracia. Ursarctic Slider, we're looking for Ursarctic Big Dipper. Pot of Riches, Ursarctic Departure. Snake Rain, Light Serpent, Flogos, Soha, Sulfur Cord Formal, Pot of Riches, and Aaron. Aaron the Ogdoatic King would have been worth $24 if he was a character rare. Oh, and he's still worth 338 not in a character rare, so I'll put him in the pile, so.
Okay, guys. Five more packs left. Will we pull another character? I'm honestly not even sure if you can pour more than one character rail from one box. But we've already pulled the best one, so... Two more packs. How much is this one worth? Five bucks. And that's it. Alright, you all. So, here are the chase cards that we got. First of all, we got Lord of the Heavenly Prison, Magician Souls, Incredible Ecclesia the Virtuous, Lirilusk Lil Bird Call. That one's not what I thought it was, but. And then we have Dino Wrestler Pankertops in a collector's rare. Collector's rare. So this stack right here, I'm going to look up what this stack right here is worth. And we'll see if these uh, make up for the price of the boxes. So Dino Wrestler Panker Tops is worth $157.86. Lyraless Bird Paw is worth $14.82. Incredible Ecclesia the Virtuous is worth fifty five oh four. Magician Souls is worth thirty six ninety eight. And Lord of the Heavenly Prison is worth $28.93. So out of just these five cards that we pulled, we're looking at $293.63. Now I said in the last video that we uh, spent $420 on these boxes. So let's look at some of the other pulls that we got. We got a Do Sulfacord Coolia. 
Aaron the Ogdoatic King, Ursartic Polari, Magicky Beast Ancilia Belos, B Trooper Scale Bomber. I don't think all of these are dollar cards. I think some of these were just my rares from one of the boxes that had a lot of rares. B Trooper Armor Horn. Albion the Shrouded Dragon. Shooting Majestic Star Dragon, non, non Starlight Rear. Amazement Assistant Delia. Branded Opening, Arrive in Light, High Speed Droid Coerc Shooter. Liliersk, Celestine Wagtail, Sage de Fleur, Liralisk Bird Sanctuary. Oh man. Some Flo Andries, Heavy Interlocks, Sword Soul Supreme Sovereign, Chang Ying, I'd say we got at least $420 worth of cards, you all. And the thing is, if we would have pulled a Starlight Rare, we could have made $1,000 on this box. Easy. Because there's a lot of $5 and $10 cards in here. And there's a lot of $1 cards in here. Downard Magician was my favorite card from uh, Brothers of Legends. And then let's see, we got Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. Danger Bigfoot Alternate Art. Red Eyes Black Dragon, Dark Magician, Mystic Mind, Pot of Extravagance. See, I should put Pot of Extravagance in that pile because he was actually worth quite a lot. Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, Dark Magician, Red Eyes Black Dragon. Those can all go in uh, sleeves immediately. All right, you guys. So the total for these five cards right here was 293.63. I'm going to add the value of these four cards here. So Dark Magicians were 350. We've got the pot of extravagance. Is worth thirteen ninety seven. got a red eyes black dragon he's worth 771 And then lastly, we got Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. I think I got two of those, maybe.
It is worth a dollar thirty-seven. Cool looking card, not worth a whole lot. And it was Joey's card, so if you're a Joey Wheeler fan, make sure you pick up yourself a copy of uh, Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon because he looks dope as shit. All right, you all. Well, that's it for uh, this episode of Mike Plays Yu-Gi-Oh. All in all, this stack of cards right here is worth $334.07. This stack of cards right here is worth an unknown amount, but we know we paid $420 for these six boxes. So um, I do believe we'll make profit on these six boxes. By the time I get done selling these cards and these cards, and then I put all the bulk together, and I sell the bulk separately, I should make over $420 on these six boxes. So let me know in the comments, what was your favorite poll from today? If I had to pick, my favorite poll was probably the uh, Dark Magician. Because that was Yugi's uh, favorite card. And then my favorite, my second favorite poll was Dino Wrestler Pan Pankertops. Because he kind of looks like the Incredible Hulk. He's got the purple shorts and shit. Oh, he does. So, that's it, y'all. Again, thank you for watching. Have a good rest of your evening, morning, whatever time it is, wherever you are. And uh, be blessed. And stay tuned for more Yu-Gi-Oh! MetaZoo and Pokemon unboxings. Thank you and peace.